Lions versus San Francisco 49ers. Big game on Sunday. Massive. Shout out to you for being a Lions fan, sticking it through and through. This moment is for you. This moment of being recognized as one of the best teams in football is for you. To be in the championship game and for the Lions to represent you is awesome. It's a great feeling. I know last night I was talking to my girlfriend and I was uh, explaining to her the meaning of this. Where you have a team that's fighting for you and to destroy the reputation of being the same old Lions. Bad football team, mocked, being a Lions fan, being mocked your whole life. And this team is fighting to end this. They get to a Super Bowl. It's going to handle, it's going to end this, right? It's going to end the mockery. And they, they've done a phenomenal job removing a lot of it this year. Just amazing. And I'm proud of this team. And then seeing the fans at Ford Field, they're fighting for their team. They're like, you need help. We're going to be as loud as humanly possible. And I love the back and forth that takes place because they're fighting for you. We're fighting for them. We it, it, we want the narrative to change in Detroit. And if the Lions make the Super Bowl, the narrative changes f uh, for me um, for good. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. I'm 38 years old. If they just if they just make the Super Bowl, it's I feel I almost feel like that my life is complete. <laughs> you winning it right, winning it make it, it make like your dream come true. But a bucket list was to see the Lions in a Super Bowl in a Super Bowl. That's been what I've been waiting to see my entire life. Been talking about it before my dad passed away. How I just wanted to see the Lions in a Super Bowl before I die. And that's all I've wanted to do. And same with him. And unfortunately, he never got to see it, but we have an opportunity here to do it. So in this video, we're going to be doing breakdowns, key plays, key things that need to happen, I think, for the Detroit Lions to win this game. We're also going to talk about a little bit of a Skip Bayless mocking the Detroit Lions, and Jared Goff's response was, was funny. He doesn't care. I love it how the media is really on the side of the 49ers, and it, they should be, in all honesty, right? Like, the, the 49ers, in my opinion, should be favored. They're at home, um, and I want all the smoke. I want all the denies, because it, I feel like it puts a chip on the shoulder of the players, and it'll give them more opportunity to win that game like they did with Kansas City. No one believed them, except for Lions fans. Same with the Green Bay Packers. We've been through this to the point where there's nobody believes us but us, and they, they come through, so that's what we're wanting to see here. And Skip Bayless said the Lions earned the right to get blown out in the NFC Championship game. Are you kidding me, Skip Bayless? We haven't been blown out in the playoffs. We've been leading the playoffs. The Lions are a good football team. We've been blown out one time this year. What are the odds of them getting blown out in the NFC Championship game is extremely unlikely with this team in the hype that they're going on in the playoffs. That was a ridiculous comment, and it just shows your IQ, which is not that high, in my opinion, to say that. I, I think that's ridiculous. They're going to fight their tail off. We may not win, and w we don't know what's going to happen, right? You win or lose, but they're going to fight their tail off, and they're not going to get the doors blown off them. That's not going to happen. We're not the Dallas Cowboys. We're not the we're not the Dallas Cowboys that get blown off. That they're that that we're them boys. Okay, we're not that over here, Skip Bayless. We're the Detroit Lions. We are the the kneecap biters. We fight, we fight and fight, and we we don't quit. And that's what this team is all about. So Jared Goff says he didn't even want to hear about it when they said it's from Skip Bayless. He just he just ended it. I don't want to hear about it because he doesn't care, which is is great. But let's get to these keys to victories, by the way. Yo, shout out Jared Goff. He is Jared Goff. Jared Goff. Uh, we support you. We love you here in Detroit. Regardless of what the media says, we got your back fully here in Detroit. And the crowd lets you know. And you know you got the support. And this trade, before we get into it, greatest thing that's happened to this football team, the Matthew Stafford-Jared Goff trade. Stafford goes to a situation, wins a Super Bowl. We get a guy who I think is Detroit, Jared Goff. He's won two playoff games. 
He's not the most talented player on planet Earth, but he is the guy with the coldest veins. He doesn't get shook, and this guy it just continues to perform. Jared Goff, shout out to you. What you, Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell, Sheila, all the players, everybody on this team has done for this fan base this year is just amazing. And it's just it's been such a great season. Such a great season. So it's just it's hard to believe that we're here. It's hard to believe that we're in this position to where I'm talking about a video about what the Lions need to do to make it to a Super Bowl. It's crazy. It's crazy, and I love it. You know, that's that's the game of football right there. And, you know, we've been down for so long, and now we're a chance to... We're two games away b- from being immortal, it feels like, being immortalized in history. So it, it's it's crazy. But we're you're witnessing history, witnessing history. That's what I was explaining to my kids and uh, explaining to my girlfriend that they don't pay attention to sports that much is this doesn't happen. You're witnessing history. Great moment. Keys to victory for the Detroit Lions this game – There's many things that that needs to happen. First off, the offensive line is by far probably the most important thing to this game is Frank Rag. Now, he's going to play in this game. I have no doubt, okay? But he is banged up. We know that he is banged up. We know that he's beat up. We know he's got a bad knee, back, toe, leg, body, everything. Uh, Can this offensive line protect Jared Goff in this game with a Wooshika playing left guard? they can, Lions can win this game. They can open up the holes. They can run the football and protect Jared Goff. Lions can win this game. This offense, you get Jared Goff time, he's going to pick you apart. He is deadly with time in the pocket. He is absolutely deadly. And it's going to be difficult. You're going against linebackers here that are phenomenal. You're going against a defense that's really good. Defensive line's really good. I the Lions can whip that secondary if 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 they give Jerry Goff time, he he can take the secondary down. But if he's rushed, he's going to have a problem. So offensive line, obviously Jared Goff is got to not turn the ball over in this game. Do what he's been doing the last two weeks. Be fine. He's playing phenomenal. Take care of the football. Don't make the stupid mistake. Lions will be in this game. An opportunity to win it. The reason that the the Green Bay Packers lost is they turned the ball over. Don't turn the ball over. This team in San Francisco are turnover machines. That's how they win. They're plus 10 in the turnover differential. We got to reduce that. It can happen. Take care of the football. Jared Goff's done stints where... He takes care of it, and he's on a stint right now. We love it for sure. We got to run the football. So far, three of this is offense, right? Because that's what this team is, right? We're an offensive team first. Run the football. David Montgomery, Jameer Gibbs, shorten the game. Pound them from beginning to end. Pound, pound, pound. Show the physicality of this football team. We can run the football from beginning to end, pound them. If you do that, the Lions will win the game. If we are running the football from beginning to end, you're not going to stop this offense, but you got to run. We, we have been stuck le- this past Sunday. In the first half, we got stuck. Run the football through the whole thing, and the Lions should be good, especially in the fourth quarter. Where if you're if the Lions are ahead like we have been, they can just convert first downs, finish the game with the four minute offense. But it's predicated on running that football with Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. Got to do that there. Defense. We got to get some turnovers. C.J. Garner Johnson, Brian Branch, Kirby Joseph, Afutu Malfonwu. You got to make a play. You got to make plays in this game. We got to get some turnovers. CJ, this is why we brought you in for this moment. This is why you are here. NFC Championship game, playmakers make big plays. That's what you are. Get this secondary to make some plays. You can do it. I trust you. 
I trust this team that they can get turnovers. They have done it. Make those plays. Blitz and sack with these safeties, with these playmakers, because that's what they are. Those four players are playmakers. They need to make plays. Get to turnovers. Cam Sutton in the secondary, the, the corners here specifically. Don't get torched on every play. Make a couple of plays. We know that this is the weakness of this football team. We know what we got. But we need a couple third down stops in this game. This is the time to be making that stop. Knocking the football down in third and 14. Knocking the football down in third and 19. Knocking on the third down and long knocking the ball out and making the necessary stop for this offense to return the favor. We can't allow these guys to consistently convert these third downs, make a play. Lastly, and surely not least, stop them to field goals, not touchdowns. This is a touchdown-driven league. We need to get touchdowns. They need to get field goals. We need to get touchdowns. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. We need to stop them from getting those things. That is what won us this, these past two playoff games. That will win the game. They are a good offense. They average around 28 points per game. We need to make sure we hold them under 30. The Lions offense can get a, get 30 points. We get those touchdowns, and they're below that. Obviously, the Lions would win. I, th I think the, if the Lions get 30, they win this game. We got to get it. We got to do all this thing together. Play fundamental football, get the victory, and go to the Super Bowl for the first time ever. Ever. We have an opportunity to do it. So, blow up the comment section. This is for you. With that said, folks, adios.